What's up, Facebook Live? What's up, everybody all around the world? It's Solace, a kingdom there, kingdom for here, guys. And I'm on here doing another video. This is over 500 videos, but I'm doing these videos every day. I just wanted to come on here and just encourage you guys. And I want to tell you that Jesus is on a whole nother level. The enemy, he, him and Jesus aren't the same, okay? Jesus is, he came that he may give us life. And this is the verse I want you to, to meditate on. On John chapter 10, verse 10, it says, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Right? It, it takes more strength. It takes more more genius to build than it takes to destroy. Just Just think about destroying something. It doesn't take any wisdom. It doesn't take anything to destroy it's weak to destroy, to kill, to steal. It's weak. It, it, it takes no strength. It takes no character. It takes no integrity. When you destroy something, you just do whatever you want, right? You just slam it to the ground. You just toss people under whatever it is that you're destroying, right? And that's what the enemy does. All he does is go around looking to, to kill, steal, and destroy, right? That's all he's looking to do. But Jesus, see, he came that we may that we may have life. It's our choice. We have to receive it. He said, he said, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. So he came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. So it takes more work to have life. That's why the enemy wants to destroy your work. And when he destroys your work, it hurts. It hurts so much when he destroys something that you built because it took more work to build it than it did to destroy it. Right. And that's what Jesus does. He in our life, he, he, he builds us up, right? And he's put, he's built us on a solid foundation, but we have to respect what he has done. We have to thank him for what he has done. And we have to realize that he came on the earth for us to have a more abundant life, not for us to have a, a, a life of lack, not for us to be, not for us to just destroy everything that's, that we're doing. Right. Not for us to be in lack, not for us to kill, steal and destroy other people in their businesses and their ideas and whatever it is that they're doing. So, guys, I want you to meditate on John 10, 10 tonight. It says the thief does not come to except to steal and to kill and destroy, guys. And I want you to know it's easy to kill, steal and destroy. It's easy to do that with your mouth, with your words, with your actions towards other people, towards what God has promised you, to, with your thinking. It's easy, but it's harder this is why a lot of people don't don't become successful because it's harder to have a more abundant life. It's it's harder to receive that because everybody they give up too easy. People give up too easy, right? And it's it's hard building these videos. It's hard building a company, building a ministry, whatever it is. It's hard work, and that's why a lot of people quit. It takes more work to build than to destroy. It's so easy to knock something over. But it's not, it's, it takes, it's a longer process to actually build something. It's a longer process to actually see something grow. But it's so easy to kick something over, to knock something down, to tear someone down. It's so easy to quit. But it's not easy. It, it's hard work to keep going. Especially when you don't see any results in your life, in any area of your life. It's hard work. But I want you to know that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And you have overcome the world. Because he's in you, all right? He overcame the world. So you, you have overcome every problem, every challenge that is, that is coming your way. So, guys, I want you to meditate on John 10.10. 10. I want you to meditate on John 10.10, 10, guys. And I want you to keep building whatever it is that God has told you to build. You're going to go through things in life. You're going to face challenges. But Jesus is greater. He came that we may have life. And that we have may have it more abundantly. He is greater. It's so nobody greater. It's so easy to quit. It's so what's up, Jeremiah? It's so easy to throw in the towel. The enemy, he's weak. He's so weak that all he does is kill, steal, and destroy. It's so easy to kill, steal, and destroy. It's so easy to tear somebody else down to build yourself up. I've I've done it before I before I was saved. Right? It, it's so easy to just to just try to make somebody else look bad. It's so easy to do this. Right? But that's why we have Jesus. He has overcome the enemy. He's defeated. You probably have too. That's why we have to resist the devil. And he will flee from us. Anger. When you get angry, 
That's not resisting him. That's letting, that's letting him come into your space, take over your emotions, and now you want to kill, steal, and destroy in some area of your life. You can kill, steal, and destroy your business opportunity just because somebody isn't joining. You can get mad and say, I'm done. I throw in the towel. You get mad at your ministry and say, nobody's coming, nobody's joining, so I'm done. It takes time to build. It doesn't take any time to kill. I mean, to, to kill, steal, and destroy something is quicker than to build it. That's why people get frustrated when, when you look, this is why people get so hurt when they, when they've been building something for so long. And then all of a sudden in a matter of days, it's gone. It hurts, right? It, it, it takes quicker. It's, it, it takes no, it takes no type of effort to kill somebody, to kill, steal, and destroy with your mouth, with your words. Right. Your words have you remember your word is a sword. You could right now I can say something negative to you and hurt you immediately. I can say something. But then guess what? I can also say something positive to you and cause it to build up. But, but this is what I learned. Positive words. The, I got to hear my I got to hear positive words more than negative words. A negative word can stay in my mind longer than a positive word. A negative word. Can stay. If somebody says something negative to me, I will dwell on that. That's crazy. People will dwell on the negative more than the positive. Why? Because it's hard work to build up a, a foundation of positivity in this world. The world is not positive, but the word is. So we have to spread the word, the light in the world, and we have to hear it. Faith comes by hearing, right? So every day I have to build up my faith because somebody, look, if I don't build up my faith, somebody can come and give me some doubt. One word of doubt. They can say I'm on the wrong track. They can say something wrong and that will stick with me because I haven't been building up the right words of faith for what God has told me to do. But Jesus came that we may. He said may. It's up to us. And Jesus is, he's, he's more, when he said may, he, he, he said may have, may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. That's why I came. I came to build something. I came to create something powerful. I came to, to, I came to be magnified on the earth. I came to get God magnified through, through, through the earth. That's why Jesus came to save us, right? He came, he came to seek and save the lost. But the enemy is so weak, all he wants to do is kill, steal, and destroy. It takes no effort to steal. It takes effort to work for something. It takes effort to build a business, a solid business, a solid ministry, a solid project. It takes work. But when you build it solidly, whatever it is that you're building, when you build it solidly, you're building something and you, you're, you're building something so you can have a more abundant life. So you can have life more abundantly. When I'm doing these videos, guys, it's hard. It's hard to encourage people every day. I go through things through life. Don't think that I'm just coming on here. You know, I, I go through things, but I have to overcome them. I'm an overcomer. You're an overcomer. Guys, I want you to, but, but guess what? Every day I do these videos, I'm building my muscles. I'm building my strength. So the bars, look, you know when you go to the gym, you're lifting weights? So the weights that I was lifting earlier this year that I had to lift, I don't worry about the. I don't even notice those weights no more. I'm on today's weight. Today's weight is heavier than the weights of yesterday and other days. I've overcome those weights. That's why Jesus came, that we may overcome. So, guys, I love you. I want you to meditate on John 10, 10, but I'm doing these videos every day. I'm telling you, Jesus won't, he won't let me quit if I tried. He won't let me give up because he loves me too much and he loves you too much. He won't let you give up, I'm telling you. He's talking to you right now. He's telling you what you need to do. Do it. It may not, it may not look good, but you are here to make an impact. You are here to change somebody's life. The enemy is so weak. I'm about to get off. The enemy is so weak. All he can do is kill, steal, and destroy. It takes no effort. Imagine somebody getting angry and punching, just starting punching stuff and throwing stuff on the floor. It takes no effort to do that. But, but then 
Imagine somebody building some building it back up. It takes a lot of it lot it takes a lot of effort to build a house. But it really don't take no effort to destroy the house. They get a boat, they get a boulder or whatever that thing, whatever it's called, you know what I'm talking about. One of those tructers, and they just destroy the house. It takes no effort to destroy it. But it takes hard work. It takes diligence, efficient action to build something for your last name, to build something to make an impact in the world. It takes effort. Martin Luther King, it takes effort. It takes effort to make a, to start a revolution. It takes work, but it, not just any type of work. The more you do, the, the worse for you if all your action is inefficient. But if you do inefficient, but if you do efficient acts, if all your work that you do today is efficient act, like me doing this video, this is an efficient act. I'm giving my all into this video for Jesus. Because that's who I serve. And this is, this is an uh, efficient act. The better for you. The more successful for you. So look at the work that you're doing. Scale out. Throw away anything that's, that's, that's not really being productive. Anything that's not really helping you. Anything that's kill, stealing, and destroying your joy. The enemy will try to make you do so much and get nothing done. And produce nothing. You will know them by their fruit. You will know them by the activities, by the results that are, that are coming through them. So guys, I love you. Be blessed. Act now. Whatever God has told you to do, get on it now. He came that you may have an abundant life. It takes work to have that abundant life on earth. There's purpose. Whatever you're doing, hold, hold your vision in front of you. And remember the purpose of why you're doing it. Act with faith and purpose on that vision. And in your meantime, contemplate the vision. Be grateful for the vision. If you're ungrateful, you're not going to be connected to source, to God. The ungrateful person will receive everything lack. They will receive lack. They will receive poverty. They will receive everything that's bad. Whatever you're, whatever you're um, thinking about. But the grateful person will receive the best. Because you're connected to the best when you're grateful. Who's the best? Jesus is the best and you cannot be connected to Jesus if you're ungrateful. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you, says Jesus. Draw nigh to God. How do you do that? Be thankful. Be grateful. and You will see what it is that you need to do to go to the next step. If you're in doubt, do not act hastily. If you're in a business and you feel like you're in the wrong business, act now. Do your best in that business and and you will you will more you will feel your present environment so much you you will overwhelm that environment because you did your best that you you'll be forced to get into the right business god will force you to get into the right business so you can be in alignment with who you are if you're in a job you don't like don't worry do your best act now because jesus came that you may have an abundant life not that you may be destroyed not that you may be killed, not, may, not, not that you may be uh, stolen from, whatever your success. No, you might have your business, things might have happened to where you no longer have that business no more. Or it was stolen from you. I trust, trust me, if you were giving God the glory, listen to me. If you were giving God the glory, God didn't do that. He's shifting you to something new. He didn't steal that business from you. He didn't destroy that. But that was the enemy. He let the enemy destroy it and cut it off so you can get to that new venture. So you can get to that new position. I promise you that. So, guys, I love you. Be blessed. Act now. Act with faith. Belief. Action. Action. Action times belief. Action, 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 action. Act now. Faith without action is dead. I promise you that. You're not going to be able to receive this, guys. We got to go hard for Jesus. If I give up, I, guys, I need you for this. I'm doing these videos every day. It's hard work. I need you to share this. Somebody needs this. We're doing this for Jesus. Somebody needs to be inspired to get up. Some young adult, some older, who, who cares the age? All right? Somebody needs to act now on what Jesus told them to do. Nobody on here is perfect. I'm not perfect. I said, God, I made mistakes today. Can I still do this? I made mistakes today.